G'day guys, it's Curtis here and welcome to another On The Back Wheel Review. Look, today we're going to check out the Shark Leathers GP18 Race Gloves. So let's see if they're buy, wait for a sale, or don't bother. So who are the GP18 Race Gloves for? These are just a straight up track or race glove. Sure, that doesn't mean you can't wear them out in the street. I have been for this review, but they're primarily built for racing. The gloves have heaps of features, so I'll just touch on the major selling points. The GP18s are made of cow leather. They've got Kevlar lining, vents on the knuckles that double as armor, nylon stitching, a reinforced palm, and also a carbon pad on the palm when you inevitably put your hands out when you crash. Have a look on the Shark Leathers website, these are currently on sale for $149, uh, but the normal price seems to be $249. This puts them in the cheaper end of the race club market. Have a quick look online, you can get the RST track gloves for $200, the Recondis I previously reviewed for $249, and then you're getting into the pretty much the, I've got a lot of money to spend range, the Dainese, Speedy and other similar brands like that. All right, so how do these bad boys fit? And what are the comfort levels like? Look, they took a long time to wear in. Uh, I've been wearing it on and off for a couple of months. And they're only just now getting to a place where I like how they fit. So I'm finding that with most race clubs, my recondies were the same as they need that break-in period. So if you need to go to the track, you know, the next day after you get a set, you better be wearing those bad boys all night, trying to wear them in, wear them around the house, in the shower, do everything you can to try and wear them in. So, they're a snug fit. I'm a lot, I'm a bit of medium to a large, generally. Uh, these are a large and they are a firm fit. But you want that at the track anyway. So, if you get them, just be wary that there's going to be that break-in period. Um, even though they are broken in, the pinky finger is a little bit tight still. I'm, that'll wear in over time, but it does cause a bit of fatigue when you're holding on, changing gears, using a clutch or brake, etc. On the inside, there's nothing that catches your hands, no stitching or anything like that. The, I mentioned on the last shark gloves that I had that uh, the armour dug in a bit in the wrong spot, whereas this is perfect, no issues. These are quite a light glove too, it's very noticeable, they're light, easy to handle, which I find I want in the glove, the lighter the glove the better, as long as it isn't sacrificing durability, which these don't seem to be doing. One thing that is good is the twin knuckles offer a lot more flexibility and are a big improvement over the last sharks I had as well. So that is a definite thing and I just allow that, allow the little bit of airflow to come through. They're still quite a warm glove track, most track gloves are. Like they're not perforated or anything like that, but they do have a couple of small vents. But yes, no issues with the fit and comfort on these. They're quite similar to the Recondis I had, just not quite as supple and similar as well and that got a bit of a long break in period so just be wary of that if you want to use them very quickly. So I've had these gloves for about four months now. I've been wearing them most days to and from work just depending on which ones I put on uh, to give them a really thorough review and I have to say I am really impressed with the build quality of these gloves and this is now the fourth product I've reviewed for Shark Leathers and they've all had very good build quality. It's good to see the Shark have made some improvements with this glove over their old range. On the SS Comparoo gloves there was a single knuckle protector, but here it's been split into two. As I mentioned earlier, this gives you a bit more flexibility that's certainly noticeable, but secondly, it also gives you that bit more airflow. One of my main complaints with the SS Comparoo gloves was their looks. They were just a bit plain. These though, I think they look pretty bloody snazzy in their white and black that I have. The mix of colours isn't too excessive and I particularly like the new logo that's on the fingers. The leather appears to be great quality and hasn't worn in any areas. I find that the stitching can be one of the first things to go on bike products, so it's good to see that nylon stitching has been used. 
The stitching over the whole glove is very neat and nicely done, and I can't see any issues arising in regards to the stitching. So, are the Shark Leathers GP18 race gloves a buy, wait for a sale, or don't bother? Look, this is a bit of a tricky one, but I'm going to say they're a wait for a sale. The main reason for that is their full price is $249. You know, I think that's just a bit expensive. For that price, the Racondis are a better buy. They're made of kangaroo leather and they're just a bit more comfortable. Uh, but the saving grace for these is I've never actually seen them for $249. They're always $149. And that, for that price, I think they're a definite buy. The build quality is very good. Once they wear in, they, they are quite comfortable. Just be wary that the wear in time was quite long for me. And also the pinky finger took a very long time to wear in, it's still quite tight. Be $149 a buy, $249, wait for a sale. Hey guys, I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe. See you next time, catch up.